Okay, so this is a very much needed talk we need to have about these special ants here. Because I see some all kinds of messed up formations in the mines and during uh, the kill events of the SVS. First up, let's talk about specialized ants. If you see somebody with an acid general with either carriers or guardians stationed to him, they didn't read the ant. If you click on your ants, in the top left hand corner, it will tell you shooter, universal, guardian, or carrier. That is very important. With an acid general, if you do not have shooters with it, then skill, here we are, seven will not activate. And skill four will not activate. That is a big handicap. Oh, and skill one and six. Those are huge handicaps. Why? Stick with shooters with acid general. There are not... There are like a few... Universal ants. Gold armor is a universal ant. Jack jumper, universal, meaning you can use anything with those. Golden spiny is a universal. Driver, universal, meaning those are any ants. You can use them with anything. Giant tooth, slim arched, bullet. And golden sugar are universal. And brown rogue, if you were lucky enough to get one or you paid for one, it's universal. That's it. Those are all the universal. Okay. Next. Let's talk about... I know when I first started, honestly, up until like two months ago, I didn't know what range was. Range is what determines where the radius is for that ant, I guess you could say. Gold armor, this one has an effective range of two. This one has an effective range of five. Very big difference there. So. I had to switch cameras real quick. So I could talk about this. Alright, so. This is you. And this is your enemy. If you have a range of two and you put that ant in a support position with a range of two, guess where that attack's landing? It's going to land here. One, two. So it won't even make it to the enemy. So attacks with a range of five you want in your support position so it can go all the way to their support see one two three four five so Those are your ranges if you want to be able to attack all of these 
in one attack. However, supports, you want a range of five. Just straight up range of five. For range, you want one, two, three, four. Four is your minimum. For melee, you can go one, two, and three. So one through three. Sorry, it's hard to hold the phone and write. Melee, your ideal range would be one through three. Your ideal range for well, range would be one through, not one, two through four. Has to be at least two so it can at least get to their melee. And it needs to be four to get to their support. So two through four is your attack range for the range position. For support, you want at least a three to a five. One, two, three, four, and five. So these are your ideal ranges for these positions. And that is what. Okay, now that we have talked about the range, let's talk about skills. Let's talk about Banshee Panda, since that seems to be one of the most popular ones you'll run into. Why does Banshee Panda pack such a punch? Is it the damage, or is it its skills? The answer is, it's skills. This skill, skill number two, where it says that you're going to enter the dodge state, that means their ants cannot touch yours. That is huge when you're doing PvP or player versus player. It essentially, for the first four rounds... Which the average, I believe, was like eight rounds, I think. I don't know the actual average. I'm just guessing on that one. But that's like half the battle if the average is eight rounds. That their ants cannot touch your ants. And then on top of that, there's a 70% chance to debuff their combat skills for 40%. That is huge. This is literally crippling the enemy. And there's no range on it because it affects you, not them necessarily. The next skill. Let's see. Just give me a second. Let me. Let me pull up the next ant. That I see a lot of. And that is. Reap Master. I do not have Reap Master. I want it but I don't have it. This one. Has an effective range of 5. And if you remember from the last. Portion of this video. When I had to switch cameras. That means it can hit every single enemy squad and this one has a chance to disable all of the enemy ants for two rounds well for one squad rather for two rounds so that skill paired with your banshee pan with your panda skill, 
That's a huge handicap for your enemies. So those are two very good PvP ants. Okay, so now that we've looked at the PvP shooter ants, like, in my opinion, those are the best ones. Let's look at carrier. As you can see, I am a carrier main. I do have like one, two, three. Oh, I guess four. Can't really tell, can you? Anyway, PvP for carrier ants when going against just about anything. You're going to want Dark Giant. Dark Giant is similar to Reaper in that it helps you avoid damage. As you can read here, it puts your ants into a dodge state. It's not guaranteed like the shooter ants, but it's there. So, Dark Giant's good for carriers. This beauty, yes, you have to pay for it just like the panda. This thing for carriers is a beast. This skill, Misa. This skill can silence enemies. And what that means is it makes them unable to do their combat skills. So this is a good combat for Panda, pretty much. And Reaper. The Reap Master, rather. Where this one gets its advantage against other ones is instead of having an average 40 to 60 percent to do this much amount of damage, as their eighth skill, Venom increases its damage. And for carriers, that is amazing because they're not very good attackers. They're really not. Unless you're going against guardians. But against shooters, they're no good. Unless you can boost them. So, this, for going against shooters, almost puts you on an even playing field prior to ants. Or prior to special ants, rather. And no, I am not, I don't know everything about ants. I'm not pretending to do, so if they, if I miss something or if I get something wrong, please just comment down below. Let me know what I missed, what I got wrong, so I can learn. This is just information based on how I understand it thus far. This one, instead of when it activate, activates... Instead of being able to, or instead of it just activating, attacking, and being done, this one actually does two attacks at the same time per skill activation. Meaning, this one is two attacks in one round. And it's two separate targets. So that's like, instead of having three attacks, you get four. In one round. That's another huge bonus. So. Dark Giant. And Gold Venom. 
beautiful for PvP. I know absolutely nothing on Guardians, so I'm just going to go off of what I think would be good since I don't use Guardians. But, from what I've seen, Mimicry Master, for its... Actually, hold on. It's not Mimicry Master that I'm thinking of. It's Black Cancer that I'm thinking of. Because this one has its... Um, silencer, exhaust, or dodge effect. This one's the one that has that right here. So, Black Cancer has your avoiding effect. But that's really all I know about it. So I'm not going to sit there and say that I know a whole bunch about it. Because I don't. I don't know. Another one I would think would be very good. For. Guardians. Is the Mimicry Master. I think Mimicry Master and Black Cancer are the two better of the new ants. Personally. And. From what I have heard, Guard General shoots its own foot, pretty much, if you have it fully maxed, because of skill 2. As you can see, one round preparation, 35%, oh, 45% to deal 395 damage to two enemy squads. But it reduces its own squad attack by 80%. You do not want anything that reduces your own attack. There's just too many options. Move along. Buy Guard General. You're obsolete. Go away. So, don't get Guard General. If you have to choose a Guardian type ant. Mimicry Master, Black Cancer, all the way. If you can buy an ant Dark Hercules right here its squad will take 55% less damage from attacks it's not a percentage ratio it's a definite 100% it's going to take less damage And then this one is, its squad deals 10% more damage, and the effect, the effects stack once per round. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure, like I said, I'm not a guardian type person. But if I had to guess, that means it stacks on top of each other for one round, so it does it twice in one round. I'm not sure. Somebody else will have to like comment down below and like let me know what's going on with that. Um, but yeah, so there's the ants. Brown Rogue is very exclusive right now. You were only able to get it through like a few things, two, I think two things, and then you had to like pay boo boo money to get it. So, but when you're going, it, it, it's pretty powerful. It's like Gold Venom as far as, like, increasing its squad damage. Then it's got a 60% troop attack. This one has a penetration, which it reduces the defense. And then this skill... I'm not really sure what this skill does. Anyway, it's a beast. If you can get it, get it. If not, don't worry about it. There's plenty of other options to counter it. Okay, so this video is already 13 minutes long, so I'm ending it.